I need to rant about something. Something that's been bothering me since Pal World released on Steam and fucking blew up pretty much every chart. The entirety of LEGO Fortnite. This game, LEGO Fortnite was at the top of the world. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of players at a time, practically doubling the player count of Battle Royale. Thousands of people were sharing content online about the game, building cool shit like monorails, giant boats, and even aircrafts capable of recreating Hiroshima. Epic Games had like the whole thing in the bag. The stars were aligning and everything was looking perfect for the game. And then it fucking died. So what exactly went so horribly wrong with this game? Why did 95% of the player base drop off the game entirely in like a span of three weeks? Simple. Epic decided not to update it at all. Well, that's kind of a lie. They started giving the game some small quality of life updates. For example, they increased the amount of which you can stack items, and I think they made tools like 30% more durable. You know, updates that probably should have been in the game at launch because who the fuck thought a full stack of items in a survival game could ever be as low as 30? That, that's insane. Especially for like how small your character's inventory was. Aside from these two updates, literally nothing new ever came to the game until it was already way too late. And that's kind of the weirdest part, because all of these people making this cool shit were definitely being noticed by Fortnite themselves. Like, LEGO Fortnite always reposts things that people create on their Twitter account, so it's not like they just weren't seeing any of it. They just decided to do absolutely nothing with the ideas that were being hurled at them, like how monkeys throw their fucking poopies at people in a zoo. This wouldn't have been so bad for the game if it wasn't one of the most bare bones experiences I've ever fucking played. The only thing to do in this game besides building with a very buggy, inconsistent, and basic construction system was to just make a set of tools out of the ores you had and then go and mine the next ore on the progression list and then, you know, make another set of tools out of that mineral. The farming system's extremely basic, the villagers aren't very interactable besides assigning them to jobs and fucking dancing with them, and they tried to do something with rockets and wheels, like kind of like um, what Tears of the Kingdom did, but the only thing you could really build out of these things without using bugs was either a car that couldn't steer, a floating platform that could only move up or down, and um, that was it. <laughs> but all of this was okay to people because everyone just sort of assumed it was a mere demonstration of the very basic features the game would have to offer. And you know, we kind of all thought updates would be pushed out just as much as they were with the Battle Royale mode. After all, Epic did devote an entire team to work on this mode exclusively, so I kind of thought there'd be more to it. I remember that after a few weeks without updates, everyone kind of began to get skeptical. At that point, the quality of life updates still hadn't even really rolled out yet, and Beyond reposting the creations of players, the LEGO Fortnite Twitter account was completely silent. And during this time, all those videos of people building monorails and other forms of transportation were beginning to grow stale and pretty much die out in popularity. The game's content creators started to shift towards posting news about the game's updates, despite there being almost none. But eventually those two or three fucking quality of life updates did start coming out. So, you know, it was some content, I guess but it wasn't really enough to keep people from leaving. At some point, I'm guessing in an attempt to keep the game alive, somehow a rumor started spreading that a huge update was coming, including launch cannons for traversal purposes, which was one of the game's biggest issues, along with like a ton of updates to the villagers. There was some other bullshit thrown in there too that I can't really remember, but it's not like any of it matters because this update was apparently still months out and everyone was gonna have to just live with the basic gameplay we already had. And what do you know, the fucking game died. What a surprise. People started finally giving into the weight and admitted that the game was only really fun because of the hype and the uh, the concept got old really fucking fast. Which I kinda do agree with. But you could kinda say that about the battle royale mode and that shit is still around somehow. So it's like why the fuck did the battle royale mode work despite kinda being basic as shit but Lego Fortnite died in a week. Well the thing is battle royale was always introducing something new whether it be a new item, a gun, a location on the map, you name it, it was there. And usually that was like every two to three weeks. It wasn't like huge updates, it was just like maybe an item or two, or you know, a change to a weapon or something. Pretty much anything that could just be thrown into the meta of the game and keep it fresh. And that was literally all they needed to do with LEGO Fortnite. Introduce smaller updates in more frequent portions. Like again, even if it was just like one or two items bi-weekly, that's still one or two items that people have two weeks to fuck around with and find crazy uses for. That alone would most likely keep people more than happy until the next update, but you know, 
Nope, they just had to um, wait until it died off before giving it any sort of updates. <laughs> like even now, the only thing they've added that genuinely impacts how the game plays is a launch pad, which just makes traversal easier. In a month and a half of the game being out, that's all they released. Like I understand that I probably sound like a needy little bitch to people who probably haven't yet played the game, but you really need to go and try it for yourself to understand. Finally, I kind of want to bring up and discuss the whole reason why this video even came to my mind in the first place which is, you know, Power World. You probably know what it is by now. If not, just pause the video and search it up. It won't take more than a minute. I absolutely love Pal World, despite the fact that it's got pretty much the exact same gameplay loop as Fortnite. You're just in a loop of make stuff to mine high quality stuff, which you can then make high quality tools to mine higher quality stuff. But the difference between Pal World and LEGO Fortnite is that Pal World has so much extra shit in between the game's main progression system that it's not even really noticeable. You can go exploring in a very vertical, decently filled world, you can find new pals to catch and enslave for your fucking ultimate army, you can build an automatic farm that harvests shit for you so you don't even really have to grind out the progression. You can just go and do fun shit. And it has bosses too, and every pal is collectible so there's actually a goal to the game beyond just getting the best set of tools and armor. It actually feels like a finished game, so it won't really need updates as frequently as LEGO Fortnite did. Regardless, the game's already dead so there's not really any point in fucking, you know, coping about it anymore. It was a phenomenal attempt at the least, like I, I do applaud Fortnite for releasing probably the biggest game for maybe three days. Again, they did it again. I personally saw a lot of potential for it, but oh well, you fucking snooze, you lose, you know? Let's just hope that Power World's kinda able to stay fresh for longer than LEGO Fortnite, because I kinda love the fucking game. <laughs> you know, maybe they can add a new map with new pals later down the road or some shit, kinda like Pokemon does with their um, regions. Or maybe they can just let the game stay in alpha forever and fucking die. Hey, kinda like LEGO Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, fuck off fellers, bye bye.